Hello, I am Dale Ganey, sales engineer with Arcom Digital. In this video, I will demonstrate the connection and usage of the Arcom Quiver XT return spectrum analyzer. Once the XT is powered on, the screen will display the operation modes. You will select option number four, the spectrum slash signal level meter analyzer. Again, option number four. This will show you the forward or the return. You can toggle between the two with your navigation keys. In our case, we're going to display the return. Once the return analyzer screen is displayed, you can select your minimum and maximum frequency settings. Enter the minimum frequency that you wish to start at and then set up the maximum frequency. Simply toggle down, hit the enter key and enter your desired frequencies. We do recommend that you power on the Q amp located in the pouch on the back of the meter to accommodate for the test point loss. We recommend connecting to your plant with a test probe or the proper adapter. Select the return port you wish to monitor. You should see scheduled traffic appear on the return spectrum screen, still monitoring the frequencies you selected earlier. The analyzer has a 20 dB low noise amplifier that can be turned on when watching very low signal levels. Note, it is very easy to overload the input when the low noise amplifier is turned on. Use it only when you can be sure the unit is not overloaded by additional gain. The analyzer has two markers available. The meter shows the difference in the frequency and the level indicated by these markers as the delta value displayed here. There are also four modes available per marker. The max mode, which is the default, will be put atop the max signal level frequency. The second mode is free selection to be able to toggle the marker left and right using the navigational arrows. The third mode is direct frequency input, which will allow you to key in a specific frequency. The fourth option is the off selection, where the marker is deleted from the screen. The DBMV reference level is the next feature. The reference level can be changed by pressing the Enter key. This will open the reference level sub menu. Within the sub menu, Highlight your required value with the vertical cursor or the navigational arrow key, then press enter to confirm your selection. The signal level scale is set to default at 10 dB per division. Entering the submenu offers the option of 5 dB. Highlight the desired setting and press the enter key to accept the change. After changing the scale to 5 dB per division, it may be necessary to adjust the reference level as well. Another additional tool to the Quiver XT is the noise under qualm feature. In the off position, this feature shows current scheduled traffic and any noise that is within the return spectrum. Turning the noise under qualm feature on highlights any noise signatures that are hidden under the qualm carriers and may not be visible to standard spectrum viewing. Engaging the noise only feature removes your scheduled carriers from the screen and highlights just the noise under the QAM carriers. The basic max hold operates as a typical spectrum analyzer feature. To activate max hold, select the max hold on soft key. To deactivate max hold, press the max hold off soft key. To save a spectrum trace, Use the Save Soft Key. Next, press the Yes Soft Key to confirm the selection, and the screenshot will be saved into the memory. 
The traces are available for downloading using the USB port on the bottom of the meter and the QBrowser software. Available on our website for free download at ArcomDigital.com. Thank you.